Yeah, and we can speak now to Marianne. Marianne Nyambura, if you can hear us. Yes, I can see you. Um, so has this race been called or is the UDA candidate just leading? Well, indeed, Joe, the race has not been called yet. Uh, according to the returning officers, that there are eight polling stations that are yet to submit the final uh, tally. Now, as you can see right behind me, is that uh, the, 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 the different uh, uh, candidates, including Anthony Nzuki, is the one who's leading with uh, 1,215 votes. Uh, that is 44% of uh, the total uh, votes uh, cast. Uh, Francis Njoroge from the Jubilee Party uh, coming in second with 818 votes. Uh, that translates to about 30%. Then followed by uh, Bernard Miner, who is a, a People's Party uh, candidate with 343. Uh, 348 rather, the percentage is at 13 percent. So it, it is quite an interesting race, Joe, uh, because uh, we've seen uh, the different uh, political leaders from uh, the two factions, that is the Jubilee Party as well as those affiliated to the Deputy President under the United Democratic Alliance uh, pitch camp at the um, Nakuru Town West, specifically the London Ward, just to ensure that they clinch this seat. But we have seen these results uh, uh, trickling in from about uh, at around 8.30 uh, p.m. when the official tallying process uh, began and the returning officer began issuing the, 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 the different uh, uh, results as at what is transpiring right now is that Anthony Nzuki, who is under the United Democratic Alliance, is on the lead. Uh, this is an interesting uh, uh, race because these are two different parties. And earlier on, remember, the, the different uh, leaders were accusing each other of uh, uh, allegations, different allegations. But of course, uh, as that is also happening, we're just waiting to see uh, how the, the, the final tally, considering the fact that there are eight uh, polling stations that are yet to uh, submit their results to the returning officer. So we'll wait to see how that exactly will pan out. But currently, uh, Anthony Nzuki with 1,215 votes, 44%. Uh, Anthony Nzuki comes from, uh, is a candidate under the United Democratic Alliance. Um, we also have Francis Joroge at 818 uh, votes, translating to 30%. Then coming in third is Bernard Miner with 348, translating to about uh, 13%. As I mentioned, is that this race is quite interesting because remember again, uh, just a few days before the official, uh, or, or rather the campaign period was about to come to an end, we saw different political leaders, those affiliated to ODM, uh, saying that their ODM candidate, Stephen Adoch, had um, uh, withdrew, withdrew his candidature from this by-election. We also saw those from Kanu. Um, led by uh, Nick Salat, who's the Secretary General, Kanu, mentioned that uh, their candidate, Kimani Wakimani, had uh, withdrew, withdrew his candidature actually uh, just two days before the general, the, the by-election was held. So it's quite an interesting race, and as you can see, um, is that uh, Joseph Kimani coming in last, um, zero votes. So it seems that uh, this, uh, in the spirit of the handshake, the different, uh, uh, the two candidates, that from one of them from the ODM party, as well as the other from Kanu uh, parties, uh, withdrew their candidature to support the Jubilee candidate by the name Francis Njoroge. So interestingly, we see the different results that are trickling in. The county council hall uh, 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 polling station, Anthony Nzuki led with 62 votes, Francis Njoroge with 49 votes. And we've seen a replication of that whereby uh, the UDA um, candidate has been on the lead in the different uh, polling stations that have already uh, submitted their results to the returning officer and the returning officer has um, announced them. Uh, looking at Moy Primary School, which is another polling station, Anthony Nzuki leading with 62. Okay, Francis okay, okay. let me, let me ask seven. you. Bernard, Bernard Minor coming in third. Marianne, 15, Marianne, if you can uh, hear me. So it is quite an interesting, yes. Yeah, if you can hear me, Marianne, you, you mentioned that there are still some polling stations that are outstanding. Do you know how many they are and how does that relate with the total number of uh, uh, polling stations in, in that ward?
Well, indeed, from your question, I understand that uh, from the returning officer, I just spoke to him a few minutes before we went on air. Um, he said that the, he's waiting for the eight uh, polling stations to submit the results for him to do the final tally and give uh, the, 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 the winner or announce the winner of that particular MCS seat. So we, we are just waiting to see how that will be because remember that uh, the eight polling stations are from the different areas. So once that happens, we will wait to see what the returning officer will have to say regarding that. But the, vote, the voting process, uh, or, or rather according to uh, the different uh, results, the tallying process that we, we are seeing that is ongoing, is that okay, very, very, very well, Mary. Uh, has 1,000. Mary Ann, we will, we will leave it there because um, uh, obviously that is going to be announced uh, not too long uh, from now.